if you're up in Australia's tropical north, you're bound to come across one of these. And this bizarre structure is built by one of nature's most amazing engineers. It can build living bridges, construct sprawling cities in the trees, and it tastes exactly like sherbet. How do I know that last part? Let's find out. is the home of the green ant. Now these guys are also called weaver ants because of the peculiar way they build their nests. Instead of digging holes in the ground, these guys live in trees. Building these nests is an incredible feat of cooperation. An ant will choose where to begin, grabbing onto a leaf and pulling it down. More ants will join and soon there'll be a whole string of temporary ant stitches holding the leaves in place. Then it's time to apply the glue to hold the nest together. And where do they get it? their little children make it. These nests are built with silk produced by green ant larvae, which are baby ants. They're not capable of crawling out here in their nappies and doing it themselves, so it's the job of the worker ants to transport them and apply them to the leaves where the silk needs to go. But they don't just stop at one nest. Over time, each colony spreads out over multiple nests sometimes over several trees. In one colony of a closely related species of weaver ant, nearly 150 nests were counted. Green ants are largely predatory. They normally feed on live invertebrates. And just like they will work together to build the nest, these girls all pitch in to take down sometimes behemoth prey and bring it back to the colony. They also feed on honeydew, which is a magical sugar drink secreted from the butts of some sap-sucking insects. They farm the honeydew by protecting the insects from predators like a human farmer with a herd of dairy cows. They don't have a sting, but they do bite and spray formic acid from their abdomen. This burning chemical is enough to deter even a full-grown person from invading their territory. One of the most amazing things about green ants is their ability to overcome physical barriers by working together. If something is out of reach for a single ant, that is no problem for these girls. They'll band together and form a chain, descending on prey from above or bridging seemingly uncrossable bodies of water. Even when building their nest, they're able to cover the distance to the next leaf by forming a living chain with their bodies, holding onto the waist of the ant in front. And all of this without a single ant being in charge. I told you I'd explain why I know these ants taste like sherbet, and it's because I licked one. For First Nations peoples, green ants have long been used in medicine and can be brewed into a tea. If you want to know what green ants taste like, it's not necessary to actually eat them. You can just lick the abdomen to get the full sherbet experience. The taste of these ants is so interesting. They're growing in popularity in Australian food and drinks. You can already find them in gin and cheese and even marmalade. Green ants on toast, what do you think?